Howdy GeekWire fans and welcome to a special edition of GeekWire Friday. Uh, I'm Rand Fishkin and you may know me from Whiteboard Friday which is Moz's long running series that I started explaining marketing and SEO topics but today we want to try and help founders, those of you who are in the GeekWire community and specifically around three different topics. Now these three topics are actually taken from a book I wrote called Lost and Founder but you don't need to worry about that because I'm going to explain all of it in just five minutes. Very easy. First off, if you're a founder, like me, I'm going to urge you not to be irrationally biased to the venture capital classic Silicon Valley path. And, and I think the problem is that this path, this, this classic VC path, gets so much attention, media attention, uh, awareness from you know, all sorts of coverage and amplification from sources that talk about the companies who successfully made it through it. And so a lot of founders think that we have to go for this hockey stick growth, that the only types of companies we should look at, the only markets we should look at are ones that can do this. In fact, these types of companies that have slow, progressive growth are awesome too. And in fact, one of the weird, dark, dirty secrets of the startup world is a lot of times founders and employees make a lot more money with these than they do with these. Venture capitalists, not so much. Second, startups are often torn between optimizing for what investors want to see, right? What people are looking for in your pitch deck. If you need to raise that next round, what is going to be in there versus what your customers want to see and buy and love. And this is a huge problem too because this type of bias will lead you to do a lot of dumb things around your metrics. For example, pursue you know, growth hacks that can get you quick ramp up and a bunch of customers or a bunch of users before that important round, but that actually don't help anyone, don't make your product better, don't make your market better, don't make anyone love you more, and in fact can lead to higher churn rates and uh, worse retention and worse uh, market perception over time. But at least you raised that round. I don't love that. I'd worry less about your metrics and how those will look and more about uncovering what will make your customers rave about you. And I've been guilty of this many times myself. Uh, P.S. That slow, sustainable, profitable growth is despised in Silicon Valley startup culture, but it's awesome for building a bunch of great businesses. Three, company culture. Very important for startups. I know that many of you have put a lot of time and energy and attention into this, and that's wonderful. But I worry a lot because many of the times when, when media and press and startup founders talk about culture, what they're talking about is, oh, we like Star Wars versus Star Trek, or we have a ping pong table, we have a foosball table, we drink beer after work, we really like IPAs. That is not culture. That is not company culture. Company culture is who you hire and why you hire them. It is who you fire, who you let go, and why you do that. It is what earns you promotions, what earns you recognition. What does the CEO stand up and say, this was great work from this person on our team and we're incredibly proud of them, versus what earns you getting on a performance improvement plan. Uh, and, and these are, company culture embodies values that you have, that you are willing to sacrifice money and growth for. We are not willing to do this thing, most of us, for example, are unwilling to do illegal things, in order to accelerate our growth or make more money. Uh, that, if you can answer these types of questions and amplify that as your culture, you will attract right kinds of people and build what is a, a real company culture that can help you achieve growth and sustainability and employ wonderful people. All right, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this special edition of GeekWire Friday. We don't know if there will be another edition just yet, but, uh, but we'll find out. So. Stay tuned. Thanks to Todd and to uh, John and everyone at GeekWire for the opportunity 